You can look, but you can't touch. What is happening, most amazing family? And welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope it was fun and relaxing. And I hope it had nothing to do with any of these things I'm about to mention. I'm Taylor McWimmis, and here are the top 10 deadliest substances in the world you should never touch. Let's do it. Number 10, mancineal tree. If you came to this list looking for poison ivy stats, well, you've got another thing coming. The mancineal tree, upon first glance, looks pretty normal. In fact, it looks almost inviting and welcoming. The tropical tree grows a low hanging fruit and it can be found most commonly in the Caribbean, Central America, and South Florida. So if you live there, um, don't touch this tree. Sick. And for sure, don't eat the fruit also. If you're hungry, just wait till lunch. In fact, don't touch this tree at all. Don't even breathe in the air around this tree. For real, it's that bad. The mancanil is referred to as the beach apple or la manzanilla de la muerte, which translates to little apple of death. Yummy. The plant is riddled with toxins. Even if you put this apple in your mouth and spat it out, the inside of your mouth would still be blistered and your throat as well. It's not comfortable. The tree contains this chemical called forbel. It's so poisonous that if you were to stand under the tree while it was raining to avoid frizz, the water rolling off the tree would burn your skin on contact. So if you're a tree hugger, um, skip this one. Number nine, hogweed. No, Harry Potter does not smoke this. In fact, he doesn't even touch it because he's a Gryffindor. <laughs> We should all be more like the chosen one. Native to Europe and some parts of the US, hogweed or giant hogweed is, like its name hints, quite tall. They grow up to 14 feet sometimes, so they look pretty threatening before you get close. Its leaves can stretch out quite far with an umbrella pattern. It's a poison disc with purple and white hairs, basically. Now its sap contains these toxic chemicals called photosensitizing purinocumarins. These chemicals, once on your skin and then in contact of sunlight, start to burn and cause large blisters. So the sunlight will activate this burn like you're a vampire all of a sudden. How weird is that? It's horrible, and on top of that, if the sap gets in your eyes, well, you may become blind. There's quite a few lookalikes to the toxic giant hogweed, but again, like I said, just avoid plants you don't know. If it's fuzzy, odds are it's not gonna feel good later. Always bring toilet paper. Number eight, snake toxin. And here's why I don't f with snakes. Fun fact, did you guys know there's over 600 species of venomous snakes? So uh, yeah, watch your step, I guess. Now I'll admit the ratio isn't too bad. Less than 10% of all snakes can really hurt us. But that small percentage, well, it's enough to wipe out 100,000 people a year. So still pretty bad. Vipers are commonly known, the eastern brown snake, just, you know, horrible creatures. But what is it about their venom that does so much damage in the first place? Well, snake venom is extremely complicated. The way we test its toxicity is by using the LD50 test. And the lower the rating, the more dangerous the toxins are. Remember that for later. Alongside the eastern brown snake, the mainland tiger snake and the russell viper come in pretty low on the ID50 test. Sure, the dangerous snakes often look the part, but take the boom slang for example. It avoids confrontation, looks pretty similar to non-lethal snakes, but after one bite, you will eternally bleed until you're dead. From him, that little guy, little licky tongue, that's it, you're dead. Number seven, cyanide. This one can harm you both in gas form and in powder form. How fun. Perhaps one of the more well-known poisons out there, cyanide of course can kill you in just minutes. Potassium cyanide can take your life in minutes if it's consumed, but it's confusing what cyanide really does to your body, especially when we weigh in James Bond villains. Like in Spectre, the movie Spectre, Javier Bardem's character pulls out these fake teeth to show that his mouth was burnt horribly after trying to swallow hydrogen cyanide. Great movie, also not really accurate. The reason you shouldn't consume or get near cyanide is that after consuming it, it starts to replace the O2 in your bloodstream so really it's the most harmful to your brain and your heart. Inspector, that wasn't cyanide, that was like acid. But we can pretend that it is. Avoid breathing it in, don't even look at it. In fact, don't even watch the movie Spectre. It's pretty long, I don't know, it's not my favorite of the bunch. Number six, VX. This yellow, tasteless, and odorless liquid can kill you with just one touch. The nerve agent VX is, of course, extremely illegal. It came from ICIS's research from the early 50s when they were developing new insecticides. Well, it worked, but it worked a little too well. It was swiftly outlawed. But the bell cannot be unrung. This was the same nerve gas that was used to take out Kim Jong Nam back in 2017. He was attacked at an airport. Two people rubbed a cloth on his face covered in VX and he died on the way to the hospital. He had a horrible seizure because of this. Initially, officials thought that cyanide was used, but in reality, it was only 10 milligrams of VX, this oily liquid. It looks evil, like it looks like bad goo. Number five, ricin. One of the biggest villains in the show Breaking Bad, next to, of course, 
Ricin is a chemical found in the seeds of castor oil plants. It looks alarmingly similar to table salt and an extremely small amount of this can kill you. They also come from castor beans, but unlike toxic plants, you aren't going to run into any ricin in the wild. There's also more steps that need to be done before you accidentally poison yourself in mere minutes. Once consumed, ricin enters your cells, and then it prevents them from making the proteins that they need, subsequently dying. So your cells die fast. So depending on if you inhale it, ingest it, or inject it, the results may vary. And by results, I mean it depends how long it'll take before you meet your, you know. Georgi Markov, for example, he got taken out by a ricin attack. It was in 1978, he was waiting for a bus, and a man in a black umbrella, well rather an air gun disguised as an umbrella, shot his right thigh. And it wasn't until three days later that that little sting contained trace amounts of ricin. Number four, arsenic. The deadly poison that supposedly took out George III of England and Napoleon Bonaparte. What is arsenic and why have we heard this name so many times before? It's incredibly toxic in its inorganic form, but arsenic is a natural component in the ground, so it causes contaminated water, air, anything really, it just goes out of the ground. Which leads to arsenic poisoning, so most of the time you develop skin cancer because of it. That's its main attack, skin cancer, horrible. Arsenic has an LD50 around 13 milligrams. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry has arsenic on its priority list of hazardous substances. It's a top dog, it's up there. Exposure to toxic metals is a common problem that we're facing still to this day. Number three, poison oak. I remember in elementary school, there was a kid in my class who rubbed poison oak on his face because it was soft. Idiot. Don't do this. This is why we're doing a list on deadly substances. For people like Andrew, his face didn't react well. It blew up, it was this massive rash. Poor kid had to go home. Didn't have a good time. Poison ivy, we all know about. We're good there for the most part, but I have to mention poison oak because I think we should genuinely know this. Poison oak is so much worse. There's another one called poison sumac. Just poison, 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 no. These plants produce a harmful oil called urishi oil, and the rash that follows after you make contact is called contact dermatitis. See, like ricin, it only takes a small amount to cause a huge rash. Poison ivy is known for its leaves. Each one has three tips. Leaves of three, let it be, we all know that one. Poison oak, same idea, but with fuzz on the underside, and has a lighter top. Poison oak, what a joke. There, it rhymes, now we'll all remember. Deal, let's move on. Don't touch plants that have hair. Number two, the kissing bug. Now I know it sounds friendly, maybe a little too friendly, but this bug is not a lover at all. The small kissy boy carries with it a plethora of diseases, one of which is called the Chagas disease. Also known as triatomine bugs, but kissing bugs sounds way better. These little guys are known to suck blood out of humans, like vampires. Why is everything kind of vampire-like on this list? We're pretty up to date with disease bugs like mosquitoes or ticks, but I wanted these guys on the list too because I've never heard of a kissing bug before. They're called that because they usually bite you near the mouth or the eyes. This area here. It carries the trypanosoma cruzi parasite and it passes to you after the bug poops on your face. That's the main way of spreading the parasite. They bite you, then they fart in your eyes. How rude is that? They should call this one the stink bug because that stinks. Number one, super acid. Yeah, super acid. Of course we're gonna finish off with super acid. Let's do it. We can't end it on a bug. Fluoroantimonic acid is that sci-fi acid that you see that melts through like a spaceship or anything like that. It's a real thing and it's caused by mixing hydrogen fluoride and antimony pentafluoride. Hot combo. This acid can only be mixed with hydrofluoric acid because it's too strong to be mixed with water. It would just go Gone, nothing even there anymore. Super acid, it's 20 quintillion times stronger than sulfuric acid. This can not only dissolve your skin tissues and muscle, but it can dissolve glass. Glass. The reason we have acids this strong in the first place is that so chemists can break down molecules. Now, some of these molecules are tougher, so they resist common acids. Imagine being stronger than acid. Science is crazy, my brain hurts. Let's wrap this up. Guys, those were 10 substances you really don't want to touch. I threw in some animals, some plants, some acids, but let us know if a part two is in your interest. There's a lot of shit out there we shouldn't be touching, and that thumbs up button is definitely not one of them. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters, and we'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. See ya.